Take the Intel 1700 platform as an example. Take out the fixed backplate. The backplate supports 115X1700 platforms and adjust the buckle position according to your needs. Adjust the buckle and install it in accordance with the hole on the back of the motherboard. Take out the included thermal grease and apply it evenly to the top cover of the CPU. Take out the water cooler and pay attention to the mounting holes of the fixing bracket at the base of the cold head. Take out the bracket shown in the video. Note that there is another fixed bracket of the same size in the accessories. The difference between them is the size of the thread on the screw. The small one corresponds to the 1700 platform, and the large one corresponds to the 2011 platform. Pay attention to distinguish. Install the bracket to the reserved position of the cold head, as shown in the video. Take out the fixing screws, and install it on the hole. The other side is also installed in the same way. Remember to remove the protective film of the base. Finally, install the cold head on the hole of the motherboard and it is recommended to tighten the screws diagonally to avoid warping. The radiator fan is connected with two cables, one is a 4-pin PMW power supply interface and the other is an ARGB series connector. The cable of the cold head includes a USB control cable, a 3-pin power supply cable, and an ARGB cable in series. Plug the 4-pin connector into the socket of the motherboard that identifies the CPU fun. The ARGB of the cold head can be connected in series with the ARGB connector of the radiator fan and plugged into the 5V socket of the motherboard shown in the video. Plug the 3-pin power connector into a socket on the motherboard with the AIO underscore pump. Finally, plug the USB port into the slot with the USB logo on the motherboard and install it as shown in the video. This completes the installation and ends the tutorial.